It was my seventh birthday when my father asked me who I wanted to be when I grow up. Without hesitation, I told him I want to be a Marine. When I turned 18, I became eligible for recruitment, so I applied. I had to take extensive and exhausting tests, but I passed them, and I was offered a four-year contract. I had started with 12 weeks of basic training, with basic learning, physical and mental, rifle training and field training. Finally, my dream came true, and I officially joined the Marine Corps. Not everyone close to me agreed with my choice. They were warning me about consequences and dangers and tried to convince me to change my decision. But in my mind, I was already somewhere else. To quote Charles Bukowski's words, you have to die a few times before you can really live. My name is Will and this is my story. I arrived in Afghanistan on June 10th, 2011. The beautiful sights are intertwined here with the environments of cities destroyed by the war. We are here to stabilize the region and to annihilate forces hostile to the U.S. and allies. On June 14, 2011, at 7.47 a.m., the U.S. base located at the verge of Mazar-e-Sharif had been attacked. A numerous rebellion unit, armed with unprecedented force, began an assault and broke through security lines. The airport of our Air Force had been in danger. At 8.33 a.m., we were already deployed at the location with a clear objective. Eliminate hostile units. Secure the airport. Hey, 
Reporting 10 Super miles from Texas Jail, about up. 25 minutes out. Finally, we got near the airport. The damages were significant and we were outnumbered by the enemy, but we still had to focus on our objective, to secure the airport's control tower by any means necessary, till the reinforcements from Bagram's airbase arrived. At that moment, my war training was put to the test for the first time. Roger C2, enemy contact! Two Open miles. fire! Tower, this is 155. We are six miles away, 15 minutes out. Contact! Clear! Let's go, go! VH1, VH2, take up an overhead pattern to provide air cover. Over. Take the ammo back, Will! Two. Purple one. 
Take down those RPGs. Copy. Get cover! Guys with RPGs, 12 o'clock. Out of ammo. Alpha 1, a car's been hit. It needs assistance. You're 2 o'clock. Cover. Copy, Alpha 2. We're there already. C2, we have a man down. And need medical assistance immediately. Over. Hold on, Alpha 1. We have too many wounded. You're just gonna have to maintain the situation. Over. Contact! Over. June 18th, 2011, four days after we secured the airport, everyone was still nervous. The offensive of Rebellion Group had not stopped. It was clear we were not welcome here. 
We lost connection with the convoy regarding a medical transport in the southern part of the city. Obviously, something must have happened. They sent us to make a recon and ensure our boys will get back at the base safely. Our unit set off at 11.28 a.m. It was a quiet and calm day, but it didn't last long that way. Convoy en route to 21 October, over. This is Alpha 1. We're entering the hot zone. No hostile activity so far, over. Copy Alpha 1. Proceed with caution. Eyes wide open now, guys. Sector 3, near Plaza Hotel. There's a real hunt for us. We have several wounded soldiers and need a medevac. Enemy Over. contact! Oh, Copy on that, Alpha 1. Oh, Alpha 1. 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 Alpha we have multiple targets heading your way from the west. Over. Copy that. Enemy down! Enemy, 10 o'clock! Watch out for the roof! Get 
neutralized! Blow up that car! Take them down! the convoy but our situation wasn't any better our trucks were in flame the air was waving from the heat it was clear they were ambushed just like us we weren't able to locate our people so the command was to search for them nearby this time however we were going to be supported by our birds come in alpha one what's the situation over we are at the scene the convoy is destroyed Still no radio contact with our missing troops. No hostile units in sight. Over. Copy Alpha-1. Wait for air support and proceed with the rescue operation. We need to find our guys. Over. Roger. 64, reporting that scene. Over. Good to have you here, 64. Out. I have a visual contact of armed units moving in your direction. 12 o'clock. 100. Over. Copy, 64. Take position. 64 engaging. Possible target hits confirmed. Over. Enemy target, 2 o'clock. 65 engaging. Command, we have a car at the river canal. They fell off the bridge. Over. Survivors Alpha 1. Over. Roger. Go, go, go! We're going over the bridge. Over. The car is empty. No survivors there. Over. Copy. Quick searching Alpha 1. Over. Out of ammo! Get down! Go! 
8, 2011, the region of Mazar-e-Sharif was getting better. Occasional attacks were weak and poorly organized. North was much safer. Our intelligence regained some information suggesting rebels are regrouping on the hills, 20 miles north from Jalalabad in Nangarhar province. In the early morning, we were deployed in the city, where from we moved in an armored convoy toward the mountains. We were supporting the main strike force led by Marines. It was expected that the resistance of enemy forces will be huge. This is T2. We have heavy enemy activity in this area. Engage at will. I repeat, engage at will. Over. Command, this is Alpha 2. The fire is us from the buildings at CB5598. We put some fire on them. Over. Yeah, we're almost there. Engage. Prepare for battle, Marines. Go, go, go. Go, go. Tango down. Reloading. But suggesting that extraction Out here to support Go. Alpha One over. Enemy contact, balcony, 12 o'clock. Get down! Engage! Out of ammo! Tango down! This is Alpha 2, we're at the crack site! We got two! 